No, check this out. This might be the number one place to live in Maryland, according to Money Magazine, and number 13 in all of America, according to Wallet Hub. But you need to know these seven things before moving or relocating to Columbia, Maryland. Ready, set, go. Okay, now I'm ready. If we have not met, my name is Mark, and in this video, I'm gonna share seven must-know facts before you make that move to Columbia, Maryland. Number two is the absolute joint. Number five, it totally gets on my nerves, please. All day long. Ah. <gasps> Thank you. This list is not in any particular order, and for reference sake, you can check out homermoney.com. But look, number one on the list, you gotta get a job in tech or healthcare. The Columbia employment market is off the hook. Maryland alone has a massive, massive job uh, market. It's, it's crazy. 1.7% unemployment. In Maryland, that's like 0%. The national average, 3.9%. It's because Columbia is nestled between Baltimore and DC. You in DC, it's the cyber capital of the free world. And close to Columbia, you have NSA, you got Fort Meade, you also have the Baltimore Peninsula. Every one of those is 30 to 40 minutes away from Columbia. The cybersecurity is like a 21st century gold rush as far as employment opportunities. And like I mentioned, DC is the cyber capital of the free world. There's all types of jobs in tech, cybersecurity, you name it. In Columbia alone is Tenable. Now Tenable is a corporation where over half of the Fortune 500 companies uh, are using Tenable for one means or another. Over 30,000 clients, top five in the entire world. You have Compass, you got Phalanx, you got CyberPoint, you got Black Point Cyber at Baltimore Peninsula. Look, Baltimore Peninsula is designated as a Silicon Valley of the East Coast for cybersecurity. Micros, Oracle, Lidos, all these different corporations. You have all these defense contractors all through the Columbia area. And of course, you got DC and Baltimore. Unbelievable opportunities in the tech atmosphere, I'm telling you. And it doesn't hurt also that you got one of the most affordable airports only 30 minutes away at BWI Thurgood Marshall International Airport. How about that? So tech, all day long, design your job. Healthcare, you got MedStar Health based out of Columbia. You got Meridian Health. You got Maxim Healthcare based out of Columbia. You got Lurian Healthcare. You got Johns Hopkins Medical Center right there at Howard County General Hospital. And of course, you got Johns Hopkins Hospital right in Baltimore, 30 to 40 minutes away. So if you're looking to get into nursing, become a doctor, respiratory therapist, you name it, you have tremendous opportunities all through there. There are big opportunities from an employment standpoint in healthcare and tech all through the Columbia or within 30 to 40 minutes of the Columbia area. Look, this next wave from a technology standpoint they're talking about is quantum technology. And when you combine quantum technology with healthcare, which they're doing, that technology with healthcare, there are going to be a lot of questions in the future that are answered as far as diseases. We're going to get those questions. I don't know how they do it, but they're going to do it. And Columbia's going to be on that forefront from an opportunity standpoint in technology and healthcare. Go get some. Number two on the list for things you must know about Columbia before you make that move, the proximity. You have unbelievable proximity to major, major cities. Of course, Columbia, you got Baltimore to, the, to that east, that northeast. You got, you got D.C. to the south. Ugh. All day long, please. Prime East Coast location, centrally located. Look, Baltimore's got that edge. It's all about affordability. It's all about that quirkiness. 200 plus neighborhoods. DC is the capital of the free world. You got the museums, you got sporting events. You got everything at your disposal in DC. But check this out you're an hour and a half from Columbia to Philadelphia. You're two and a half, three hours up to New York City. This prime East location, go to the Midwest. You can go out to the north, you can go to south. It's just, uh, I'm just telling you, it's unbelievable. But also with Columbia, you know, you're two and a half hours, if that, from the ocean, from the beach. And I talked about BWI Airport, affordable airport. You got Reagan National down in DC. You got Dulles International, Northern Virginia. So you have all this at your disposal, central east, uh, east coast location at your disposal. And there's a lot to be said for that, I'm telling you. Okay, well, um, I'd love it, but you know, I understand. But I do want it, okay? So you know, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you, and we love it. 
I love it. So whether you're moving in nine days, 90 days, or nine months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. I look forward to meeting you. Look, buying a home is the biggest investment of your life, and we got you covered. I trust you. All right, let's get back at it. Number three on the list of must knows before we move to Columbia is the housing costs contribute to a high cost of living in Columbia. Look, you got to pay to play. If it's, we hear this all the time about real estate, location, location, location. You know it's right. It's true. Columbia's got that prime east location between D.C. and Baltimore. We talked about that. So there's super, super high demand to live in Columbia. It's diverse. It's got a big emphasis on diversity. It's got a big uh, uh, emphasis on safety. It's got a big emphasis on security and education through the roof. And I'll talk about that more. It's the number one place to live in Maryland. It's a Baltimore suburb. And I talked about it. It's number 13 in all of America. So if that's, if that's driving it, there's going to be a high demand there, which is going to make costs go up. Look, cost of living in Columbia, it's 15% higher than the national average. And that's real. So average home price, 450000 which is 6.8% from the last year alone. So look, I'm going to tell you this, it's only going to get more and more expensive as we go. Whether it's in the greater Baltimore area or the D.C. area, look, buying a house is going to get more and more expensive because there's huge demand out there. Rates are coming down right now. They're trending downward. There's a lot of pent-up energy. There's a tremendous amount of equity out there, and people are just itching. They're itching to make that move. So look, Columbia, all about it. High demand. You get a great return on your investment. Great security. Great safety. You can look that up on Movado.com, any of the other sites out there. And of course, you got great diversity out there, but education. Boom. Boom. Knew it. Tell us about it, please. Boom. Love this. Number four on the list for must knows about Columbia Mount quality. Quality healthcare. Some of the best world healthcare facilities in the world. You got MedStar. I mentioned it before, it's headquartered in Columbia. It operates 10 different hospitals between Baltimore and D.C. Again, going back to opportunity, what's that say? Opportunity. Maxim Healthcare, medical staffing firm in Columbia. They've been there for 30 years, but you have all that at your disposal. We talked about Johns Hopkins. Johns Hopkins has their footprint. Just drop the mic right there in Howard County in Columbia at the Howard County Medical Center. And of course, you got Johns Hopkins Hospital, number four in the world recently by U.S. World News. And that's Baltimore's backyard. That should be comforting that if you got an issue, you got a challenge medically, that you can go to Johns Hopkins. Look, let me tell you a story. My ex-wife, Barbara, she had thyroid cancer. Where do you go? We went to Hopkins. Thank God she's in remission. Everything is good with that. So that's what you have, to have. you have at your disposal from a medical standpoint of being in Columbia. You're not on an island. You got world-class medical facilities. You got world-class doctors, nursing. You got all the health care that you need. I'm telling you, it's comforting. I love that. Exactly. Exactly. Number one goal. Number one goal is to showcase every inch of the Baltimore and the greater Baltimore area through our videos so you have a complete understanding of the best area that fits your lifestyle. Look, if you're moving about or relocating to Baltimore, Maryland or the Baltimore suburbs, sorry, but tap the bell, subscribe, tap the bell, whatever y'all got to do. So you're the first to know about the changing market here in Baltimore. It does change. So why not be updated so you know what's up? Ah, I told you. Number five absolutely drives me nuts, drives me crazy. It's a traffic. Look, I love Columbia, but I don't like the traffic. I'm telling you, Columbia has it. You know, the average commute in Columbia, so you're aware, is 30 minutes. So wherever you're going, it's going to be 30 minutes. 295, which leads out of Columbia, down to D.C., two lanes, it's a nightmare. You're going to have it all day. You have, everybody in the world now has a car. But 29 goes out towards the west up towards Frederick, and then 29 goes south. It's a lot easier to travel. Route 100 is phenomenal. It's eased a lot of the congestion. And of course, the inner county connector, 200 out of Columbia down to Montgomery County and Northern Virginia makes it a hell of a lot easier. So I'm telling you, this is, yeah, there's a lot of traffic in Columbia. You gotta be aware of that. But they've done some things, like I said, with Route 100, it helps you getting going east. Route 200, the inner county connector, heading down towards Montgomery County and Northern Virginia, where there's other opportunities, so check that out. God, number six, 
I could have put number six as number one. Columbia, you'll love this. Columbia has over 3,600 acres of open space. James Rouse, when he designed Columbia, just, he just crushed it. He was way ahead of his time when he designed Columbia. Columbia has 10 distinct villages. It's got lakes. It's got open space aplenty. Columbia, look, they're committed to an active lifestyle. You just got to get out and you got to go. You got tons of trails. You got tons of areas to walk. You can jog. You can bike. You got multiple uh, lakes. You got Lake Kittimacondi. Love that. Covers over 27 acres itself. Lake Elkhorn out there in Owen Brown. Got my southern accent coming out. Dear Jesus. But Lake Elkhorn's awesome. Owen Brown community. I'm telling you, he just did it right. But Columbia Parks and Recreation, they got fitness clubs like Supreme Sports Club. Uh, it's all at your disposal. They even got pickleball courts. But I just love the way they designed Columbia from an aesthetic standpoint. But you got all these lakes. And if you get further out of Columbia, you get on down to Ellicott City, you got Centennial Lake. That sends me to the moon. Just love, love, love that area. Look, number seven, for must knows before you move or relocate into Columbia, Maryland, look, the winters, the weather. Look, the winters are going to be cold. Right now, here we are in December. We have long, we have short days, rather. We got real short days, 4 o'clock, 4.30, the sun's going down, and it's cold. But guess what? It's only three months of the year, and our summers are hot, so you got to be prepared for that. But right again, we have four seasons. Winter, spring, summer, fall. You got all, and it just, after three months, it's gone. So here we are, our darkest months are January and February. March 1st is, it's time for the O's, baby. Oh! So you can deal with it. It's okay. It's manageable. And we always have those days that pop in there. It's not like forever. I'm telling you, it works. Columbia, I'll say this, Columbia is a home run from a suburban standpoint, but you have plenty of options in the greater Baltimore area. Check out my next video, the top five places rather to live in Baltimore. I love you, Baltimore. Love you.